Great Hobbies presents RCTV, your radio control authority. With your host, Nick Rack. Cooling him up and getting him on the track. Let's see how he's doing. This thing is massive. On this week's episode of RCTV, we're going to be seeing some Canadian scale aerobatic nationals. Also, we'll be seeing some more rock crawling, and one of my personal favorites, we're doing a profile on Palmer Johnson, one of the best RC photographers in the world. And then we'll be heading to the scale nationals down in London, Ontario, to see some nitro boat racing. Folks, here we are again. We're in Sudbury, Ontario this time at the Canadian Aerobatic Scale National Championship. You're going to be seeing a lot of great flyers today. Here we go. This has been here. Is this the first time up in Sudbury? First time ever for a Canadian Nationals up in, uh, in uh, Northern Ontario, as a matter of fact. So uh, we're very pleased to host this event and the turnout's been fantastic. I'm at competitions for Nationals. We're flying five classes. So we've got basic and sportsman, intermediate, advanced and unlimited. We haven't seen you in a couple years, Isabel. How's it going? It's going great. Having a lot of fun on RCS. Now you moved up a class. Yeah, I moved up by the end of last year into the sportsman class for a couple of contests just to prepare myself for this year. And this year I'm flying a sportsman. Now, how difficult is it? Is it a lot tougher than just being in basic? Uh, it's different. I think as you move up, what is tougher is that you get more and more pilots which are really dedicated and really competitive, so you have to uh, slug it out with them. Yeah. And uh, they also add the unknowns in sportsmen, so you get the surprise sequence. Yeah, and that's new to you. Yeah, it's new. I like it a lot. It's a mental game and it's just a different aspect. Now, does the collar really help a lot more now with that? Yeah, the collar is crucial because it's something you've, you've never seen before and uh, it's difficult. We try to memorize it. It's not always easy, so the, we really depend on our colors and it's, uh, I'm lucky to have great colorways for me. Now, I'd like to mention that there was a little bit of a mishap today during some of the competition, which is normal. I mean, you know, yeah. planes do break down, things do happen. Yeah. Now, explain to me a little bit about that. Well, uh, we are flying uh, two flight lines, so we have at least two airplanes in the air at all times, and we're flying three, four hundred flights over a weekend, and, uh, you know, mishaps do happen. We just unfortunately had a convergence. What? One plane was uh, destroyed, I guess you could say. The other plane survived unscathed, but because of the safety fencing and the issues and the fact that they're flying far out, all safety measures were uh, enforced and, uh, and worked perfectly. I'm still kind of confused about how the judges judge some of the movements that are going on in the air, like the basics. Well, the basics are that we have uh, lines to follow from the sequence, and these lines consist of horizontal lines, vertical lines, and 45 degree lines. And there are various elements on each one of those lines that we have to follow and, and do in order to get a good score from the judges. Well, there are two judges and two scribes. The two judges are calling out the scores to the scribes, and they were writing the scores down for, for the scorekeeper and so oh, forth. I see. The idea is to fly it as close as possible to the geometry that's written on the sequence itself. Your 45 lines are judged if it's, say, 40 degrees instead of 45, it's a half point deduction. If it's one degree off, it's a full point deduction. Based on yaw, pitch, and roll, and roll. are all judged.
Now, folks, like to mention, here's your third place guy to live in, and, and, and Steve, you're actually the fourth place yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. Now, what's the competition like between yeah. you two? Okay, it's a good question yes. because Dennis is my fellow boy. You know, it's a uh, we fly and we don't fly together, but when I'm, we are going to in Florida or we are going to the U.S. now or coming here, we always are together and we always are close each other. You know, yes. oh yeah, sometimes. Uh, Dennis is in front of me and sometimes I'm in front mm. of him, yes. but it's always close and uh, there is no competition between us. Every, after every flight, you know, we, I give him a feedback with what I saw. Can you walk on that, walk on there, walk a little bit there, you know. Good luck with the rest of the competition. Mm, thank you very much. Right? Who, who do you think? Come on, guys. Uh, he will win. He will win. You think he's <laughs> going to win? He's done. He's done. Yeah, yeah. He will. Goodbye, folks. Take care from the Canadian Aerobatic Nationals in Sudbury. We'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs>